Hello everyone, my name is Balaji. In this video, I'll talk about Splunk eval command. First function I'll discuss in eval command is if it's type of conditional function in Splunk. I'll use metadata command to demonstrate the function. The command what you see here will show the metadata of all source types available in indexes which starts with underscore, basically internal indexes. Because I don't have any data indexed here, that's the reason I'm considering Splunk internal indexes. Let's run this. As you can see here, this shows the metadata of source types which are indexed in the Splunk. The meta information what we see here is first time of the source type, last time and recent time, total count and the type is source types. I'm not going to discuss much about metadata command here. I'll create a separate video on that. Let's consider a real-time scenario that I have got a requirement to generate a report where it shows the reporting status of all source types available in Splunk at present. In the requirement, it is mentioned that there should be two fields in the report, one source type, second one reporting. The reporting field should have values either S if it is reporting in the last 15 minutes or no if it is not reporting in the last 15 minutes. As you can see here, we don't have a field called reporting we need to generate the field reporting. We can generate a new field using eval command in Splunk. Like eval reporting. And now we need to assign value to the reporting field based on last time. Last time is the time when Splunk receives last event for the source type. The syntax of if function is if the condition and if the condition matches true value, assign this true value to field we created using the eval command here and if the condition is not matched, assign the false value to field called reporting created using eval command here. This is same like other programming languages like C, Python. To generate report based on our requirement that if source type is seen in last 15 minutes, the reporting field should have value S or no. The condition would be, let's use this same syntax here. I want to see the last time should be greater than the current time minus 15 minutes. We can get the current time in Splunk using the function called now minus last 15 minutes. We cannot use minutes here because the now generates time in seconds. So the value what we are going to use here that is 15 minutes also should be in seconds. So 15 minutes if you convert to seconds it will be 900. So if last time is greater than current time minus 900 seconds the reporting should be yes or this is the false condition would be no the reason for enclosing these s or no in double quotes because they are static values and they are string type if they are not enclosed in double quotes then Splunk treat them as field names and try to look for those field names yes or no and Splunk will not find them as we don't have field with those name hence reporting field will have null values. Let's run this. We have a new field created here called reporting. It has both the values yes or no. Now to see whether this condition is correct or 
the reporting field field has the right values let's convert this epoch timestamps to human readable format we can convert those values using convert command the syntax of the convert command would be convert the function what we are going to use is c time and we need to specify the field which you want to convert from epoch time to human readable time format here i'm going to convert last time so if i just run this command it gives me the time in month slash day slash year and the time time format but i would like to convert this day month year and time format we can do here using time format attribute we can represent percentage d for day percentage m for month percentage y for year and percentage t for time as you can see here now the time is 4:45 any one of the source types have received events after 4:30 will show reporting as s or no for example you see here 4:45 4:45 4:45 if you see this one this has reported at 12:25 so reporting field has value no and finally i want to generate a report with only two fields that is source type and reporting we can limit these fields using the fields command i'm going to display only these two fields source type and reporting let's run this you can see only these two fields source type and reporting as you can see here this is a clear report which shows source type and reporting if it is reporting in the last 15 minutes it shows yes or no this is just an example to demonstrate how we can use if if function in splunk in eval command thanks for watching if you think it's useful please like share and subscribe for more videos